Hey guys and girls, welcome to my next Let's Play. Now, <clears throat> this is more like a, of a revisit because I did start say I was gonna start this a while back. I did one episode and then I just had I just started doing a bunch of other stuff. And East uh, um, Salsetta is coming uh, in about two months, so I thought. I would maybe start hammering out a couple parts of this one until I have to start doing other stuff as well. Uh, I figure if I don't do it now, I'm not gonna be able. I'm not gonna do it because I'm just gonna forget. So I have to do it, and I'm, I want to do it. This is the last East that I, I haven't recorded yet. I will put uh, some annotations that should pop up right about now to all the other East uh, walkthroughs I've done. If you guys want to check them out, this is East 7. This is about, this is the newest one in the series, and we're gonna start it up brand new and fresh, and I hope you guys enjoy. Normal. Continent of Afroka, Meadow Seashore. Approximately four Crimleys off the shore of Otago Bay. Hey, Ada, look! That island looks like it has a lot of ancient ruins on it. Can't really tell from this far off, but I bet it's a run down shrine or something. Looks like it's half sunken though. Oh no, you've got that look in your eyes again. That look always leads to trouble and walls. You know, Otago's famous for the gigantic beasts that live there. Seems like there could be rare artifacts all over the place. Doesn't that just boil your blood with excitement? Haha, <laughs> of course it does. But man, talk about lucky, huh? We couldn't have come here even if we wanted to when the war was still on between Realm and Altago. Now we can cruise on in unhindered thanks to the ceasefire agreement. We should thank Ladok for getting us on board, too. Whoa, whoa. Proof, that scared me. That ship must be... Yep, one of the Dragon Knight's warships. They must be patrolling the area. We're in a Tygian water. So that's one of the famous naval vessels of the Dragon Knight's took out an entire Roman fleet with just ten odd number of those, huh? That's right. It's a group of elite knights, after all. Besides, just because the war is over doesn't mean they've let their guard down. I just hope things settle down soon, so I can do business in peace. Haha, <laughs> seriously. Ah, look over there. You can see it now. Oh yeah, looking good. Dogi, welcome to the Kingdom of Otago. This wasn't my favorite East game, but it is a pretty okay one. So let's watch the intro. 
with its cool music. There you have it, E7. Otago City. So this is the Otago Harbor, huh? That's some handsome piece of work. <laughs> I understand your excitement. Be careful after we dock, all right? Otago City is a metropolis and the, and the political and economic center of the kingdom. It may be lively, but it's also a hotbed of trouble, especially for foreigners. Been some nasty rumors going around, too. Oh, I'd better unload the cargo before it gets dark. Just take the stairs over there to get to the main street. There are lots of stores in the area. You should take a look. If you're looking for an inn, there should be one straight ahead. Alright. Thanks for all your help, Captain. Don't mention it. Take care of yourself, Adol. And don't. Thanks, Captain. Dry land at last, considering your luck with boats. I'm surprised we made it ashore at all. Anything you want to check out first? Maybe we should just walk around and take in the sights. Alright, so we can talk to people. We're walking around. This is the first East game that actually has party members that you, you'd be able to switch to. So I'd be able to play as Dogie and such. It's pretty, pretty cool for the most part. A little girl. I'm reminded of Aerith for some reason. Ah. Mm -hmm. Huh? Oh, you want us to buy one? Sure. Why not? Mm. What's wrong? Looks like she's given one more as a bonus. Maybe she thinks it would look good in Adol's hair. Got a Natalie flower. Mm. By the way, guys, I'm sick, so sorry if I sound weird. Strange girl. Seems really upbeat, though. Looks good on you, Adol. <laughs> Maybe it'll bring us good luck. Yeah. 
Yeah, maybe, doggy. No, nope, not that way. Nice sight, though. Alright. Uh, now, we can talk to all the villagers. They have stuff to say. Some plot points as well. There's an edict. Warning, monster sightings near Otago City are on the rise. Bear in mind to carry a monster repellent bell when leaving the city. Foreigners are hereby forbidden to leave the city. <coughs> so that means we're stuck here. Would you like some flowers? How about some herbs? My, what a lovely red color. You must not be from around here. And that flower. You brought it from a little girl. A little girl, I see. Thank you very much. I'm sure she is very happy. Huh? Does she know her? Well, if she's selling flowers too. Maybe she does. You never know, doggy, with this type of stuff. Halt! You must be foreigners. This is the royal palace. You may not enter without permission. Step away. Sure. Whatever, dude. This is a thrift, thrift heist temple of Altago. Sure, why not? Now you like to make a habit to talk to everybody. It might be a good idea. Oops, sorry. And Adol actually has a voice. Be it he's only screaming, but. You can hear him say right. <laughs> Guns up our firm. Go look around everywhere else. Uh, what's down here? Hi. I'll talk with best tavern. Doggy, come on, stop getting stuck. Okay. Hi. Oh, hungry. Someone should feed that boy. This is the poor district. haven't returned for several months now. Aww. I don't think they're gonna come back for you, little girl. A cat! Cat lives here all alone. Poor kitty. Let me at it. All right. Hey, old dude. Uh -oh. Sorry for you. Hello there, old dude. Okay. from here? No. Refugees, orphans, and such of the such live here.
What now? Hey, come on. It's not like I'm ordering you never to work again. I'm just saying you should take a break and spend some time with me. It's not every day someone like me has someone like you out. But, but... Don't tell me you're actually gonna turn him down. Don't you know who he is? He's the, the Commander Raud. Hero of the Roman War. You should be thankful he's willing to spend his precious time on a penniless girl like you. But I... Man, there's no need to frighten the poor girl. Of course, turning me down, turning down someone's it's good will can result in trouble. Especially if you plan to keep doing business around here. Get away from him! <laughs> yeah. Trying to save your older sister, huh? <laughs> Pretty brave for a mutant brat. But too bad. <coughs> nothing you can do means anything. You're nothing. Uh, please stop. If you have business with me, then I'll oblige. If you tell me to stop doing business here, then I'll stop. So please, just leave her alone. Hm. Talk about sisterly love. Well, if that's what you want, I'll be a gentleman and do as you say. Hey, Adam. Looks like something's up. What should we do? Help, of course. Hey, now, how about you stop right there? Huh? What? Adol told the knights to stop what they're doing. Knights, stop being stupid. What the hell? You dare to speak to the Dragon Knight that way? You must not be from around here. That red hair, you must be from Europe. That's kind of racist. <laughs> Interesting. Alright, new plan. Men, arrest these foreigners. Well, what do you think you're doing? You're under arrest as suspected Roman spies. You may be at peace, but one can never be too secure. And even if you're not spies, you need to be taught a lesson. To never, ever dare defy the authority of the Dragon Knights. <laughs> yes, sir. W why you? Resistance is futile. You had best be cooperative until your charge is cleared. Damn it! Seems like Adol will have to do as he is told until his charge is cleared. St stop! These men didn't do anything. I'll let you go today. I found a new toy to play with. Good luck with your flower son. Oh gosh, what did we get ourselves into? You're not hurt, are you? Ah! Good. I doubt we'll have any more customers today, so why don't we go home? Can, can you help me clean up? Ah! <laughs> I got those two men mixed up in all this. I hope they'll be okay. Adol's strong. He can, do, he can take care of himself. Adol and Doggy had their weapons confis confiscated. Alright guys, thanks for watching the first part of Let's Play E7. On the next part, we'll see what happened to our two uh, misfortunate heroes. Adventures. See you then.